dog finish in the second portion of the duodenum. The end part of both duck and the ampulla are surrounded by circular muscle fibers known the sphincter of Odin. The ampulla de butter finish in the sphincter of Odin. The distal ducts is anterior to the inferior vena cava. As I explained in other slides, the portal venous branch and the hepatic artery branch are together with the bile duct branch. This is called hepatic triad. The bile duct follow the same course, but the hepatic veins not, the hepatic veins go alone. You can see in the picture the branch of the portal vein in blue, the branch of the hepatic artery in red, and the branch of the biliar duct in green. Cystic duct is about 4 centimeters long and connect the neck of the gallbladder with the commune hepatic duct to form the commune bile duct. The gallbladder is a pear shaped sac in the anterior aspect of the right upper quadrant and is very close to the inferior surface of the liver. There are a fossa in the liver that is called the oval fossa, where is the gallbladder. It's divided in three parts, fundus, body, and neck. Fundus, body, and neck, and the cystic duct that is here. The rounded fundus usually project to the inferior margin of the liver and become in contact with the wall of the abdomen. This is called the Murphy point. The gallbladder is very near the skin inside the abdominal cavity below the liver. The Murphy point is the point where the gallbladder touch the abdominal wall. The gallbladder have different position in different person, but in general is in contact with the visceral surface of the liver or the inferior surface and is directed upward, backward to the left. This is the most common, but there are very, very different position of the gallbladder, not all the people have the gallbladder in the same position and you with ultrasound are not going to get the gallbladder in the same position in everybody. The neck is the continuation of the cystic duct. Generally the normal gallbladder measures about 2.5 to 4 centimeters in diameter and 7 to 10 in length, but this is also very, very variable and the pain of the person is not in MPO or other conditions. In general, there are not a consensus about what is the normal measure of the gallbladder. The walls are less than 3 millimeters thick and this is very important because when there are thickening of the wall, there are disease, there are irritation of the gallbladder wall, thickening of the gallbladder wall, but this is very important to take the thickening of the gallbladder wall when the person is in NPO, because if the person ate something, the gallbladder is contracted and maybe the thick of the walls of the gallbladder are not in a good moment to be measured. Remember, to measure the gallbladder wall, you must measure in axial resolution, in other words, in vertical, 
and with the person in MPO. Dilatation of the gallbladder is known as hydrops, and this is one condition of the cholecystitis. There are a uh, impacted stone, and the gallbladder become hydrops. You can see the same in a ultrasound picture, a high drops because cholecystitis. There are different gallbladder with different shapes, with different position. Really, really, you can see any quantity of different gallbladders. The gallbladder may fall back and is like a more pronunciate Harman pouch. Other anomalies include partial septation, complex septation, double gallbladder, but are, and something that is more common that is the free hum cap. This is the second picture, the free hum cap. This is more common to find free hum cap. With a capacity of 50 milliliters, the gallbladder serves as reservoir for the bile. This is true, it's also the ability to concentrate the bile. And this is the problem when the gallbladder concentrates too much the bile, that can produce stones, crystallizations inside the bile. Haster valves are in the neck of the gallbladder. It's something that it's not really, really physiological. Important are not truly valves, but they can ask in you in the RDMS or in other examination what is the haters valves. Vascularity of the gallbladder. The vascularity of the gallbladder coming from the hepatic, and the hepatic artery have a little branch that is the cystic artery that give blood to the gallbladder. The cystic vein drain directly into the portal vein, that is a very big, big vein, very near, and also is part of the digestive system. The artery, from the hepatic artery, the vein to the portal vein. See, as you can see in green, the gallbladder in the liver inside a fossa, oval fossa. You can see in transverse, in green, the gallbladder 